thank you fracto mm, thank you for all of you have sacrificed the great sunday of uh, everyone and have come here to listen to me also and thanks for looping me into the loop i have a story nothing medical nothing magical logical and uh, i will take you through that story i become bit emotional while talking might uh, say something which uh, there is no intention to hurt anyone and i also have done a business and i want to put a disclaimer like how in advertisement they put this was done by somebody who has been trained so in this business i have done this way please don't take it exactly that way it works and uh, the journey is uh, from a village and uh, that's the first slide <laughs> many would have would feel that i have copied him but actually i took the photograph in month of march when i went to salt lake city and in the month of july his film got released released so i have all the rights to claim that he has copied me <laughs> the greatness about this man is uh, he has not endorsed uh, in any commercials in spite of offering 500 crores per day so it's a very powerful uh, neutral uh, way of looking at uh, his personality and uh, let me tell you the slide i want to make one more point those who work for a nobel prize will get a nobel prize will never get a nobel prize those who got a nobel prize probably would have not known what is the spelling of nobel prize those who become want to become an entrepreneur rarely becomes an entrepreneur and the guy who became an entrepreneur never knew the spelling of entrepreneurship those who build the body to become a hero don't get a second movie and a bus conductor remains a superstar for decades that's this gentleman and a, a great ovation to him because he remains still cool grounded <laughs> so this is the village where i was born you, you can see the coimbatore there is an mba in that village the town name itself that is the only mba i have got i have never got an opportunity to go to any business school <laughs> villages are true universities you know what in village you have to do there are no resources and you have to manage your life you know what is business low resources and you have to manage your business so if a man has managed life with no resources he can be a very powerful businessman because you have some resources to work on villages give you no theory all practical and experience is never counted as number of years sat in a chair experience is the number of problems you have solved in your life and poor have solved more problems and if you get an opportunity to employ please employ the poor because he has enormous experience of solving from the age of time itself the problems i had only 60 meals out of 100 meals that is a good news and the bad news because 100 meals if you don't have in a month you feel that you are you are poor but then 60 meals means uh, you had in a fall so so th this was my village i don't think any of you will send your children to a school of this nature will you no jo kabhi niche hi nahi baitha wo upar kahan se aayega agar upar aana hai to niche baithna hai so this is how i was in a school and the school had five classes and one teacher my parents were not for education because they felt if i fail they can use me in the form and i was scared to fail and uh, tamil nadu government was very powerful enough in thinking that there is a poverty there is a need for education so put meals in the school so that the children come to school and i remember distinctly i had carried in one hand a plate aluminium in another hand a slate also aluminium in black color so this is how i visualize lucky are those who are born to poor if you are born to poor please celebrate
Once, once I was firing at my daughter, telling her, what you are doing? Can't you do this properly? She said, Dad, you had the luxury of poverty. So luxury of poverty is not available for everyone. It's only for the true poor. You can't artificially create that also. Success in life is delta. Delta is equal to x2 minus x1. x2 is where you are today. x1 is where you were that day. And if a poor was man, x1 was zero. Will he ever fail? So poverty is to be celebrated. This was the school. I took the photograph very recently because nowadays I'm making presentation everywhere. A quality photograph is essential. <laughs> Every day, one way, one way was six kilometers walking. And uh, I was a mathematics student. By any chance, if you felt my doctor Velumani gives you some medical flavor, at all backdoor entry. And uh, the village had no electricity un until I finished my degree. And my father could not buy a chapel for me. And I, my father could only get, get me half trousers. Full trousers were luxury. And there was a group photo for SSL, HSL, SSLC exam, uh, exam was over. It cost said only 2 rupees. And I did not have 2 rupees to buy that. You all must be wondering why I'm talking about poverty. Let me tell you, the journey is only because of that poverty. Otherwise, the journey, there was no story. And I want to tell from where entire thing started. So 1978 become a graduate. The reason why I became graduate is in the entire area I found all graduates had fair looking wives. <laughs> so in the teenage itself motivation was there. After finishing my degree I attended interviews and I failed in 50 interviews because all of them asked do you have an experience? Gade? see college me experience milta hai. Everywhere you only get a degree. And when I failed in 50 college, 50 interviews like a hero, I threw my file in the air and I felt, if I start a company tomorrow, only freshers. Today I have got 1,000 employees. For all the 1,000 of them, I am the first employer. The second reason why I failed, everyone was asking questions only in English so that they can understand my English. English is just a language. It's not knowledge. And nobody was testing knowledge. Everybody was testing the language. So that was another unfortunate part. I finally got a job in a capsule manufacturing company. The salaries mentioned here are not euros per hour. <laughs> rupees per month. And I thought I will get married if I get 1,000 rupees. Fortunately, the company was closed down. Otherwise, I might have remained unmarried even today. Insults because you are a graduate, you draw less than a mill worker, and mill worker gets too much of uh, salaries. And I felt uh, he was bulldozing me in front of young girls, talking about my salary. I decided to quit and leave, Mom leave Coimbatore and started coming to Mumbai. Obviously, people who leave the home, all these challenges, soil, culture, parents, siblings, movies, songs, and then you go and take a risk and you go to a place of uncertainty. I all alone boarded in a Jainti Janta Express until it reached Solapur. I was sitting and crying. And in Solapur, I ate a vada pav. Life is changed. <laughs> then onwards, I'm a Mumbaiite, a Maharashtrian, and life has been great. Three nights, I stayed in VT railway station because I didn't have money. I only had a 500 rupees in my pocket. And I didn't know when will I get a job. And after finishing one month of work only, you will get salary. So I was very conservative. And I stayed in VT railway station three nights. Delta in life is x2 minus x1. And x1 was VT railway station. Will I, will I ever fail? This courage is very important for one to make something a uh, uh, risking and doing business. So I got a job in BRC, dream job, dream research institute, wonderful job. I was a mathematics, physics, chemistry man. I was posted in a thyroid hospital, so I understood where is thyroid only after coming to the hospital. Somebody asked me where is thyroid, I was thinking this could be thyroid. But then uh, mm, I got a job. 
Within 10 years, I become a PhD in thyroid, and another 10 years, I run world's largest thyroid testing laboratory. <laughs> if a man, if a man does what he has studied, he will survive. And if he does what he has not studied, he will be the leader. So I became a gadget officer. My wife was a bank officer working in State Bank of India, and all of us have come to a comfort zone. I was 37. My son was uh, seven years. My daughter was five years. And I understood at that time comfort zone is danger zone. Please note, by any chance you were in a comfort zone, please review. Because comfort zones take you down. Danger zones take you up. And I felt I should quit. So what I learned in BRC, the most comfortable job, of course, I was doing, a, I, I was working under a paper vendor, under milk vendor, Why, I, while I was a government officer, because knowledge of people, knowledge of processes, knowledge of geography, no, no language, everything is essential. And I learned four tuitions I did along with my core jobs, so there was a five jobs at that time. And uh, this was research, no balance sheet, no profit goal. So BRC has given a cool life and all the best was provide, provided. And what I have learned, Jina aya ya jitne aya. Yes, sawal me mujh se pucha. Jina to I could have lived in Coimbatore. Jitna hai. Bada wana hai ya buddha wana hai? Buddha to apne ya bohi jate hai. Mehanat karne ki jarurati nahi padate hai. To bada wana hi hai. Or bhi ya government job me koi bada nahi hota hai, buddha hi hota hai. Restlessness. I was restless as a kid. My mother used to tell, now my daughter is telling. There is a saying in Tamil. I'll translate in Hindi and tell you. Ek lamba bal kicho. Usme ek naat bando. Ek pahad ke upar dalo. Kicho. Aaya to pahad. Gaya to bal. That is business. Anyhow, what will I lose? 500 rupees leke aaya tha. Kuch aur kuch leke aaya tha kya? Absolutely not. Nothing there to lose. If you have nothing to lose, you will risk. That is why. Lucky are those who are born to poor. <laughs> because you have nothing to lose. So, in life, either you can discuss or decide, you can't do both. Unfortunately, we start discussing first. Then there is no decision. I left Coimbatore in 1982 without discussing with my father. I only showed him the ticket. In 1986, I got married without discussing with my mother. <laughs> All of you must be thinking it must be a love marriage. My father-in-law loved me. <laughs> he was persuading. And I agreed to go and have a look at the girl. Generally, if the father-in-law requests to look at a girl, the girl will not be beautiful, right? I came back, I did not go back, but he was walking many times. I wanted to tell him I don't like that girl, but then you can't tell it to that old man at his face, right? So I told him I want to talk to her for one hour. So he arranged for a meeting. In one hour, 55 minutes I talked, five minutes absolute silence. I got married. The reason why I didn't dis discuss with my mother, because in my village, a graduate was getting a fair-looking girl, so a postgraduate should get very fair, and a PhD should get fairest. <laughs> she was not. So I took her to a studio, put bright light, and took a photograph, and sent it to my native town. <laughs> Marriage is all over. <laughs> I resigned a government job without discussing with my wife. Please don't discuss anything with the family, especially with the spouse. <laughs> The minute you tell your wife that you plan to re resign, your father-in-law will sit and ask, Gade, abhi kya nata ke, man, get rid of officer karike ladki diya tha. So I, I resigned and went home, and in the night I did not sleep, and my wife asked me, ab aaj soya nahi hai? I told her, I have resigned. Until that time she was horizontal, then she became vertical. <laughs> 20 seconds, absolute silence. Because she was working in a bank, I took a risk and resigned. 
रात को दो बजे धमकी अंटिल दैट टाइम आई वॉज हरी जेंटल देन आई बिकेम वर्टिकल ट्वेंटी सेकेंड साइलेंस एंड आई सेड चलो साथ में जियेंगे साथ में मरेंगे We both left the job on the same night. I want all of you to understand: risk is a risk, and if you don't risk, you just can't get anything. Then it comes to thyroid testing. I decided to do thyroid diagnostic laboratory, and everybody was charging 300, 400. I decided to charge only 100 rupees. A Salman Khan ka movie hai. Wo bolta hai, me ek bar decision leta hu, kuch nahi badal sakta. And I started today a uh, PET CT diagnosis. Entire world is charging thirty thousand, twenty-five thousand. I am charging only ten thousand. These two decisions made me very powerful. And if you have not taken decisions, you won't have a story. And if you have taken a powerful decision, you will have a powerful story. And that's why today I am here. So this is how I saw thyroid. <laughs> I am sure all medical community is sitting here. I have only taken fifteen gram out of this hundred kilogram body. remaining all i have left and this 15 gram in my eyes was seen as a 1000 crore prosperity this was how i was teaching to my people when i started this and this was brought to me by my wife when i we crossed 1000 crore turnover it becomes a powerful slide focus so why am i here because i have disrupted that time i didn't know the spelling of disruption but i have disrupted and i'll tell you what and all disruption have done first is cost disruption in life any business you have two options either make money from the customer or make money from the vendor you can't make money from both i have decided not to take it from the customer and take it from the vendor so entire industry people were purchasing raw material or reagent for 3 dollar putting up a floor processing it for Uh, another three dollar overhead and six dollar plus six dollar. Sorry, three dollar plus three dollar plus four dollar profit is ten dollar. So customer pays ten dollar. Fair business. Everything was going on until I came into picture and I have decided I buy the reagent for three dollar and do the test, uh, give the services for two dollars. That was uh, not comprehended by everyone, but I must tell you, it was not any thesis work or math, uh, 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 magic. When you buy hundred units a month, it is three dollar. When you buy ten thousand, it is two and a half dollar. When you buy hundred thousand, it is two dollar. Today I buy five million tests a month. It is half a dollar. <laughs> This is price disruption. <laughs> Now, customer is willing to pay ten dollar, and I want two dollar. So I created a concept known as franchise into this business. I told him, guy, he will pay ten dollar. Correct, three, collect only six dollar. Retain four dollar and give me two dollar. The most powerful franchise concept. Today we have twelve hundred franchises across the country in thousand cities, and I am the most powerful man because I disrupted once again the concept. The third one, all specimen were only going from road to road. by train by rickshaw by taxi by bus today the specimen are traveling by air first time i made show the specimen are flying the island monopolies of coimbatore cochin chandigarh calcutta have all become a cloud comfort the specimen flying was another disruption and the next one i didn't bring any disruption username password was not existing until 1995 my web server is the oldest so i have used technology username password to make sure results are printed in cochin as well as rajkot parallelly the next one is mcdonald why today mcdonald is powerful they only sell burgers they don't sell masal dosa or fried rice <laughs> thyro care focuses only on metabolism initially only on thyroid then on metabolism not everything so i have become a mcdonald kind of a model i am a walmart because i buy 5 million tests each month the vendors have a 70% discount on maximum retail price for me and that is my balance sheet not this side i did a wala i told all hospitals one month testing free acquisition customer acquisition so if you look at it all these together has become a very powerful disruption focus otherwise there is a competition 
I focused, I don't have a competition. And let me tell you why I call I don't have a competition. All others are doing pathology, I'm doing biochemistry. Pathology contains pathology, biochemistry, microbiology. I don't do pathology, I don't do microbiology, I focused only on biochemistry. Their results are, the other results are subjective. My results are numerical, 17.3 milligram per ml nanogram per deciliter, numerical. They deal with diseases often. I deal with only disorders. They deal with acute illness. I deal with chronic illness. Their patients are once patient. My patients are once for all patients. They deal with infection. I deal with metabolism. They have, their patients are in hospital and clinic. My patients are at home and office. And their patients are horizontal. Mine are vertical and walking. <laughs> so is there a competition? They have 100,000 laboratories competition. I don't see anyone. Sabali. So this is the story. We work only in the night. And you want to know why we work only in the night? Is there any newspaper pr uh, printed in the daytime? Night. Is there any news collected in the night? They are collected in the day. Our specimen are collected in the day and tested in the night. I have decided to do what is necessary. One thing I have not done in my life is copying the neighbor. If you have copied the neighbor, you will, you will be one more like your neighbor. So we are present uh, in 1,000 cities, 1,200 franchises, uh, 5,000 families, 98% uh, are freshers. The longest track Siemens have put in our floor, it runs to around 109 uh, meters length and uh, world's largest uh, workload in a single floor. So that is the growth. I want that all of you to understand. I started in a 200 square feet rented garage in South Mumbai. And today I own 400,000 square feet, two buildings. And adjacent to that, I have 15 acres of land in Mumbai just because I charged less. That's the only way I have become rich. So this is something which happened to me. I am not advising this to everyone, please. I, it happened to me. That's why I made a disclaimer in the beginning itself. That is the punchline. Take less to get more. If you take more, you get less. This is very powerful way of nature controlling things. Don't copy the neighbor. Oh, mat karo jo padosi kar raha hai. Kyunki fir aap ohi hoga jo padosi hua hai. Resist temptation. There are only two kinds of people. One who is successful, another got tempted. So resist temptation. Plan to lose. Jo kona chata hai, wo kabhi kota nahi hai. Jo kone se darta hai, wo kabhi pata nahi hai. Plan to lose. I think this is a very powerful way of uh, coming out of comfort zones. And I did it, I became powerful. If you are not planning to lose a million, you can't make a billion. Business is not a straight line, it's a hockey stick. Thoda niche jana hai. Jane ke liye dena hai. I'm sure Practor knows it well and uh, all of them are doing. Today, every man who comes inside will have to lose. If you have not lost, you won't make it big and powerful. Stamina is ultimate, which what I came to Mumbai. Not money, stamina. Jiska paas stamina hota hai, o na baas se darta hai, ya na baap se darta hai. So this is the most powerful weapon on this earth. Avoid easy things. There are two things possible on this earth to do work. One is what is easy to do. Another is what is right to do. What is easy to do is not right to do. And what is right to do is not easy to do. I don't know what you will do. Be alone and be a lion. And I think Sivaji the boss was the movie in which Rajinikanth comes out of a helicopter and the villain is standing with 20 uh, gundas and the villain is asking Rajinikanth, kya aap akela ke aaj fas gaya kya? In Tamil, he says, singam singla tamaru. In Hindi it is, lion comes alone, pigs only come together. So I want all of you to understand, be alone and be a lion. Jitao, jo jitata hai, Oh, Sayad Har Sakta hai. Jo jitata hai, wo kabhi harata nahi hai. Jo kata hai, Sayad wo buka marega. Jo kilata hai, wo kabhi buka nahi marega. This is uh, fundamentals of I, I, my punchlines, and I have used his face here so that get a better impact. <laughs> and this is me. You know what is my name? 
my father has understood its meaning very well. So the, you split my name into two, that is value and money. And uh, every six years I have added a zero. For the last 30 years, every six years I have added a zero, and I'm only 57, and Warren Buffet is 87. <laughs> I think I will skip because I, I apparently uh, we started late, and I don't want to uh, uh, pull this session longer, but I have some more. I think the second portion I will teach, love nature, not gadgets. Nature is free, abundant. You don't need money. By, per, by enjoying the nature, your purse doesn't become empty. But by buying gadgets, you are becoming victim. Love music, not food. Some people ask me, how do you keep good health? I ask them, how do you spoil it? Some people ask me, how are you so courageous? I ask them, who makes you scared? So, love music, not food. Burn calories and not salaries. And the next one is a bit important, emotional. You take a graph, x-axis number of gallons of petrol sold in a country, y-axis number of diabetes in that country, there is a straight line. The next one, number of cars on the road in a city, number of heart attacks in the city, straight line. While going out, please drive the car and don't worry. <laughs> Right? But be careful that these are all sedentary and putting you into trouble. Four words, focus, learn, grow, and enjoy. These four words are important. If you don't focus, you can't learn. If you don't learn, you can't grow. If you don't grow, you can't enjoy. And remember these four words, and please don't change the order. Because enjoy also is there. If you do it first, the, other, the th remaining three is gone. I wanted to talk about the IPO story. Mm, that's my, a very powerful, energizing story. I felt my company is worth only 100 crore, but then people came and asked me, what uh, I want your stock. I told 200 crore. They were ready to agree. But then I didn't dilute. I told them, sorry, we will do later on. When somebody else came, the company I think is worth 200 crore, I told 400 crore. They were about to sip a coffee, they kept it and went away. Exactly after six months, again they came, I this time told 500 crores. In two quarters, 500 crores? Yes, there were very powerful two quarters, so it's 500 crores. This time they didn't wait until coffee, they went away. Once again they come, after six more months, I told 600 crores. They know you will, you, we will tell 600, we have this time brought a stamp paper. And I had to dilute 25%. KLKL me baat ban gayi. And now I can't refuse because Natak both din se chal raha hai. And I have diluted 25% at a value of 600. Within another 15 months, another party comes. I felt uh, this is too much. Everybody is eyeing on my stock. I should tell 1,000 crore. 1,000 crore just two, three months back. I told, look, this 1,000 crore. Okay, when we can close it. Now I felt, now I have to agree. Immediately I told I'm going for AACC, American Association of Clinical Chemistry for a conference. After coming back, we can sit and close it. I didn't actually have a conference. Went out. For two months I did not come back because otherwise I have to dilute. After coming back, I told it is 1,200. The guys were ready. We signed. The fund period is over. The man who came in at 600 wants to go out. We finally did an IPO. The IPO was done at 2,400 crore valuation. So IPO is on the first day. I got two times subscribed. Uh, I, I was told Infosys didn't get subscribed in its, in its IPO. So I was very happy that I have a company which is powerful that Narayan Murthy had created. And the second day I got subscribed five times, so we jumped five times. The third day we were sitting like how Arvind Kejriwal or Narendra Modi sits before the television and the election result today. <laughs> we were sitting before the computers on the uh, final closing day of the IPO. And you can see how it got subscribed eight times, 12 times. And when the day ended, it was 74 times subscribed. We couldn't believe ourselves. We kept on going to toilet again and again because ye kahan se itna aaya. 35,000 crores of money had come into one account. I think all bank, every Reserve Bank of India also must have noticed that one account receiving 35,000 crore. 8 lakh applications. By the way, Narendra Modi has got only 6 lakh votes. <laughs> None of them was with 20,000 rupees DD. I got 8 lakh applications with 20,000 rupees DD. 
celebrating once again on 29th, so 27th night. 10 o'clock, I receive a lawyer notice. The lawyer notice puts me as the party number one. And when I read that, it says, we came at 3.30 in the afternoon. We were trying to bid for our, in the IPO, the computer was hanging. If you don't take our money, we will stay the IPO. Musibatta, entire night I was wondering what will I do. I thought SEBI will do something. I thought national exchange, stock exchange will do something. They didn't do anything. And the third day it has gone to the high court, Bombay high court. The judge has summoned us and we had to go and stand there. And the judge is asking a question. Do you have an objection in taking this money? Have you ever been pulled to a court for... <laughs> I said I don't have any objection. And judge tells, passes an order, please take this money. Amount was 350 crores. The client was Kotak Mahindra Bank. So 74 times when I was subscribed, I was feeling bad. Another company had 74.5 times. I just missed it. Bhagavan Chappad Varke Pirse Tinso Pachas Crore Diya. It became a 75 times subscription. It looked like I hit six sixes and I was uh, uh, showing my bat to the pavilion and the umpire slowly raised his finger and told this the last ball was the no ball. And I hit a 7 to 6 also. So this is something, a, a story which I want uh, entrepreneur. I'm generally making stories for entrepreneurs, not for a medical crowd. But and I have not changed any of my slide. I have come here. But I'm sure that will energize those who ever understands what business is about. I think, uh, we'll come to the last slide. I want you people to have a look at this slide. I won't be able to speak much for next 10 seconds. This 10 seconds was for my wife. She's no more. Just uh, 100 days before the IPO, she uh, died. She had a pancreatic cancer. It allowed her only for five months. And then she came to submit all the papers to uh, SEBI. But when I had to ring the bell, I rang it alone. She is the true mother of ChiroCare. You all understand medical, biological. I only gave the sperm. It was her motherhood which created me as a powerful speaker, me as a powerful entrepreneur, and Thairokar as the most powerful concept. And if at all you wish to clap your hands, all goes to only her, not for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. This is my Twitter handle. It is not Velumania. It is Velumani A. I had to put the A in the last to get that uh, handle. And I have around uh, 1,200 punchlines in it. And you will enjoy reading all of them if you are parents. You will also enjoy if you are children. I don't think any other category is there, right? And thank you very much. I wish to uh, mm, congratulate uh, Practo for putting a platform. Let me understand and explain you what I understand what they are doing. India is a country with two countries. One is the rich, and rich, rich of the richest is there and the poor of the poorest is there. The only struggle Modi or anybody has is how to connect both, how to make sure uh, wealth or the consumption, all of them are properly uh, standardized. There are two kinds of doctors in one's room. Doctor is so busy, so busy, he doesn't have one minute free for anybody to go and talk. In another doctor, doctor is so free, so free, there is not a single patient into the, his clinic. So is a hospital. There are some hospitals, you ask, there is no bed. There are some hospitals, there is bed and there is no patient. This is the challenge which Fracto has picked up. Similar uh, uh, people who might be still picking up, the job is to ensure the ones who does not, do not have patients get patients. The hospitals who do not have a uh, bed full will get it. India is not having the true problem of less resources or less infrastructure. India has a problem of gap of between demand and supply. Supply. I wish uh, all Fracto team to lage rago. Jeet pahle nahi aata hai. Agar pahle jeet aa gaya, to wo jeet nahi hota hai. 
जो लास्ट में आता है वो ही जीत है विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट गुड लक गॉड ब्लेस यू